Hello YouTube, it's been a while since I've uploaded here on my channel and today I want to upload it's today is December 31st New Year's Eve as you can see on the top here King Island's Banshee Cam um, it when I logged on to it, it was about uh, 25 minutes ago um, anyway the reason for this video today was there's something I found really peculiar and I'll show it to you here in just a minute something that everybody is going to be ecstatic about okay and you're, I don't know if you've been on their cams today and look, but once you see this video, get on their camera and look because since we just recently got three inches of snowfall and there is a message, and I will show it to you in just a second. Now, whether it's a prank or not, who knows? But I will tell you this, it wasn't there yesterday. Now, um, yesterday I was on the cameras now this year, I, me and my sister was ill. We wasn't able to go to Winterfest this year, unfortunately, due to her having pneumonia recently and so forth. So, uh, and, and with her you know, being handicapped, I had to stay home with her. So anyway, we didn't get to experience Winterfest this year, unfortunately, and hopefully next year we do. But the extreme cold this year, I mean, Jack Frost really took his nipping at us for sure. And I just can't believe how cold it is this, this, uh, this year around. Um, and I'm sure Mystic Timbers would have been open all the way through this winter fest, but due to the extreme cold temperatures, they were just, you know, the mechanical rides just cannot operate in these type of, of conditions. So, of course, uh, last night at winter fest, none of the rides were open, period, none of them. And the train, it broke down several times throughout the last couple of weeks just because of the temperatures. And the Mystic Timbers roller coaster hasn't been able to operate not, uh, neither because of, of the extreme cold temperatures and the safetyness and plus the snow on the track just as recent as well uh, they couldn't safely operate the ride uh, so Kings Island tried they wanted to have all these attractions open but of course you know uh, things happen but what's cool with Winterfest without snow so you either give and take or whichever so this year we had our blessing of snow at Winterfest and people got to go to Kings Island and enjoy Kings Island in the snow for the first time since the 80s because that was back whenever I worked there in 85, 6, 7, 8, and 9. I worked at Winterfest as a teenager and I had a lot of fun when it snowed over there. I mean, we loved it. You talk about Winterfest, it's snowing and everything. It was just awesome. Um, I know this camera's probably a little shaky. I'm sorry. It's my cell phone. It's a piece of shit. I can't get it to switch sides. So, again, I'm so very sorry. All right, let's get to it. Now, I've been telling you guys for a long time now that King's Island will eventually put a very nice attraction in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skim right on up here. We'll pass the Banshee cam. There's the Diamondback cam. Let's just keep right on going all the way up to get to the Mystic Timber cam. Now, oh, I'm going to give it away. Actually, you might have seen it in just a second ago. There is... This is a live shot at Kings Island. It's 4.29 and 23 second p.m. in the afternoon, 12.31, 2017, New Year's Eve. Now, what better present could we be able to get something like this to put in? Because everybody's been wanting one for years. Now, is this just another tease? I don't think so. I think Kings Island is, I, I, you know, it may be a tease, but, but you know what? It's time. And I've even said 2019 would probably be the year. If not 2019, it'd be 2022. But look what was on put in the snow. And this was done on the pathway that don't get disturbed because people couldn't get to it anyway. The, the only access that this had was for employees only. Employee only could have done this, okay? Because there is no other way access to it for the way that they had set up this year at Winterfest because it was blocked off. And it was done on the pathway right here See the pathway that goes back? This is the new Whitewater Canyon pathway. And here we go. Here we go. We're going to swing around. We're going to swing around. And do you see what I see? That says Giga. Giga Coaster. Ain't that what I see? G-I-G-A. And I'm telling you, this is right now on King's On's website. Go over and look at it. It's the truth. It's there. And that's exactly what that says. It says Giga. Let's make it a little bit bigger here. If that ain't screaming Giga, I don't know what is. What does that say? 
Giga. G-I-G-A. Giga. There's the train tracks. There's the train station. There's Mystic Tempers. Now, where will they put the Giga Coaster at? I would say if they're going to put a Giga Coaster at King's On, it's going to be done on the other side of the park. It'll be put back behind Banshee and uh, back off of that way. Uh, the entrance will probably be off of the, um, possibly off of back there by where Dinosaurs Alive was. I would say that might be the entrance for the new Giga Coaster. Um, just recently, they tore out uh, Dinosaurs Alive. That's been taken out. So more than likely, that's where the Giga Coasters want to go. Now, also this Winterfest, they had an antique car that was sitting on the game's midway. And it's awful funny that they had an antique car sitting there. Because Kings Island don't have the antique cars sitting on their property anymore. They haven't had them for some time. And I know this. So they have brought that antique car from another park, probably Cedar Point. They probably brought one down on a truck and put it on display at Winterfest at Kings Island because everybody's been wanting them to return the antique cars. Yes, I do think the antique cars come back next year. I do believe that. I think that they're going to put them back here right where Dinosaurs Live was as well. Because it ain't going to matter if they put the cars there and also put the uh, um, uh, Giga Coaster right in that area because Giga Coaster, all you have to do is have the poles and the poles ain't going to be not, that much of a big deal. So, yes, I do believe that uh, Giga Coaster is coming. And I would say that it, if they're sitting there making this comment now, I would have to say it's going to happen very, very soon. Uh, so I would expect them to start throwing details out there now and later this summer that they will probably um, they will probably be um, uh, doing the um, uh, starting the construction on it later this summer and uh, po well possibly this spring uh, possibly because uh, it will take some time to build a giga coaster and it would probably be a B and m more than likely. Uh, I doubt it would be an Intamin, which I'd rather probably have an Intamin over a B and m but, you know, you, you get what you uh, what you get. But B and m plant being so close to where the park is, it wouldn't cost as much for them to uh, build the B and m because they would get an extreme discount because the truck, the trucks hauling the pieces wouldn't need near as much gasoline to haul it, you know, long distances, you know, all the pieces and all that stuff. So, with it, uh, the plant being in Batavia, Ohio, which is not very far from King's Island, maybe about 25 miles, I think, it's about what it is, uh, it wouldn't take no time at all for uh, you know them to ship the parts to King's Island, and uh, it would definitely give it a great cost uh, reduction to King's Island. So the Giga Coaster would be a lot cheaper for them to build at King's Island than it would be if it was a let's say a park, you know, especially out west, let's say, you know, way out in uh, Knoxbury Farm or, or Great America or someplace, you know, it would cost a lot more to build out there, of course, because they'd have to ship the steel so far away and the parts. So, and of course, I know that uh, the um, diesel gas, of course, is, is a lot cheaper and yada, yada, yada. I mean, you know, that goes a lot further than what regular gasoline does, but still, it's still a great expense because you got to pay the truck driver, you got to pay this, that, you know, um, maybe some tolls to the to the roadways, you know, some you know places, different places. So, uh, but it will be a, a, a less expense to uh, Kings Island, and hopefully Cedar Fair uh, will put a Giga in, and I'm sure they will because Kings Island is one of the last parks to get a big, huge coaster, and they know that we're wanting it bad. So I, I see us getting a Giga very soon. Um, it won't happen this year, of course. It's not going to happen in 2018, okay? Um, if it's coming, it'd be 2019 or maybe even possibly 2020. But I do look for announcement to be done probably later on this year. And from here on out, I'm sure we're going to see some more um, things said about. All right. I want to end this video and... Let me know what you think. Talk to you later. See you. Bye.